Many fishermen, including Richard, first noticed something strange growing in Cameroon's Lake Osa five years ago. Since then, the aquatic fern, known as giant sylvinia, has covered the lake so extensively that endemic plant and animal species have all but disappeared. Fishermen say they've lost about 80% of their income because of the scarcity of fish. Since the arrival of this plant, I've hardly caught any fish. It had a huge impact on my life. I wanted to build myself a house, but I can't. I can't pay for electricity either. It's so bad I can't even pay for my children's schooling. The dense plant reduces water flow and lowers light and oxygen levels in the water. Native to Brazil and northern Argentina, it thrives in slow-moving, nutrient-rich, warm, fresh water. It comes from South America, and based on the studies we've conducted, we were able to establish the hypothesis that the plant arrived either on the wind or by a migratory bird that left a continent and threw the plant into the lake. Fishermen have tried to remove the plant by hand without much success. It regenerates in about 10 days. They're appealing for government help, but conservationists think they may have an answer. A species of beetle that lives underwater feeds on the plant and has been used in other African countries to control its spread. The plant doubles in area or biomass every 10 days, so it's a very rapid proliferation that cannot be eradicated by manual removal, which is why we've added a biological control to this. Once we have the government's permission, we'll release the insects into the lake and we hope that after two or three years we'll overcome this plant. Around 400 fishermen rely on Lake Osa for their income, For them, any help can't come soon enough. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.